actually scared of that game oh. a lot because you went so fast and you're above the ocean, and it's like that was like my mm. main fear at the time. I think I'm better with it now, at least in games. I remember when you were really scared of the ocean, even in games. I wanted to take you. I think I made you like close your eyes and everything, but I wanted to help you get over it. I, I thought of the the scariest ocean game I could possibly think of, and do you remember which one I took you to? I want to say it was Ark. It was Ark, yeah, because there's yeah. huge. The ocean goes so so deep, and there are huge monsters down there, and. Uh, yeah, I got a little raft. I was like, "Okay, Ethan." <laughs> Just uh, yeah, I don't know. I remember we did not get very far. No, I think that like genuinely gave me a panic attack. I, I felt bad after that. <laughs> I'd certainly hope so. Why? I was trying to help. I yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I wanted you to get over it. And also, well, well okay. I think you made it work. No, can I, can I be really honest? Sure. I either wanted to help you get over it or laugh at you panicking. <laughs> oh, well, now you've really painted yourself in just a golden light. Listen, this was... This was like seventh grade. <laughs> and we're in ninth grade now, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Remember ninth grade, though? Nope. Yeah, honestly, I have a hard time remembering stuff from back then, too. <laughs> like, I remember for... What, what class was it even called? Was it American History? No, it had a it different... Was world thing. History. Yeah, World History. That's right. It was a World History class, and the only thing I remember was this, like, project. Where we had to, like, make our own, like, kind of classic. I don't remember... Mm -hmm. what, I don't think it was based off any particular, like, civilization. You could pick, like, inspiration, so you could, it could be, like, Mayan or Aztec or, like... I don't really remember what mine was exactly. Honestly, I'm sure I could like log into my old school account and find like the draft I had for it. It was pretty long. It was like a lot of pages of me just like... I, I think... Oh, you know what? I do remember. I do remember. Oh, it's so like cringy to talk about now. Um... Tell... tell I, I will. I will. But I was watching Steven Universe at the time. So I... I don't even, yeah. I don't even think I like meant to like tie it in together. I just was like, it was just on the mind, so it kind of came into the same thing with like the rocks. But I think what I did is I had it so it was like a civilization where when you came of age, I don't even know if I said what age that was, just when you were of age, I guess. <laughs> um, you would go into a cave and look for a rock and whatever rock you picked like depending on like what type of gem it was so to speak that was like your job and like your role which is literally just the plot of steven universe pretty much but um that sounds pretty cool though honestly it, it was you know for a ninth grade idea there is some pizzazz to it for sure some plagiarism <laughs> some plagiarism yeah is more what it was but Did you just copyright strikes you what I remember was it's actually just a lesson on copyright Yeah, I got a there's a whole like Lawsuit and an NDA I to sign and kind of violating the non-disclosure right now, so please don't upload this but anyways um, Basically I did that thing where you like tell your parents the night before like hey I need construction paper and markers for a project <laughs> <laughs> and my grandma, I remember this. my grandma got mad at me. She's like, "What?" And then she she actually went. I was like, it, "It's okay if you can't do it. I'll I'll figure it out." And she's like, "No, I'll go do it." And that was nice of her. But uh, she's very annoyed about it. <laughs> so then I'm like, and I have no like drawing talent at all when it comes down to it. I'm not so bad at some other stuff, but drawing is <laughs> not great. <laughs> But, uh, 
Yeah, so basically I drew out this like whole map idea I had and it was the most like first grade thing with like the scribble lines of like those like wet I markers. It. Yeah. I, wasn't there a little like house at the bottom? There was like a few houses because I was like where their tribe area was and then I think I had like a there was like a river and I didn't really know what I was supposed to talk about. So I was just, I figured it was just describe everything you were thinking of when designing it. So I pretty much just explained like the whole lore <laughs> of this like native, I don't, I think it's like a native American kind of base thing, you know, cause they like, did you do in, good? I think I got an okay grade on it, but it was like, I was sitting there and like, I, I, you know, so like, you know, they're like, okay, Ethan, it's your turn. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I walk up and I start presenting and I'm like, yeah, so I put a river here. So that way, if they're ever like fighting another tribe, they have like the advantage with this one bridge and they can like destroy it or something. <laughs> and it was so oh. just like, it was cringy, but kind of cute to look at. That sounds more interesting to listen to than like probably what any of the other presentations would be though. I guess because most of them were just like, oh my people are this and this and this and our society is this, okay goodbye. Though some people had some really good drawings. There was this one girl I kind of had a crush on and she had like an amazing drawing and I was like, oh my god, I wish that was me. And then, oh- Who he was it? <laughs> I guess blur you can the, bleep name. the name. Yeah, you can bleep the name. Just don't forget to. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was Gage. <laughs> Gage. <laughs> I wanted to say your full name to contribute to the joke, but I was like, that's just extra work. <laughs> um, but her name was, I think it was, but not the we know that works in the other department that yeah there. It was. She was taller. I think her last name was. I want to say. Yeah, you don't have to bother elaborating. I don't know who that is. Okay, maybe I'm sure if I pointed her out, which probably never see her again. Um, oh yeah, I'm sure. I mean, the name sounds familiar, but there's no face in mind. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been in a class with that person. But okay, here's another super like embarrassing thing that happened that I was so just like oh my god about basically it was for <laughs> oh my god I don't even want to bring it up because I'm like actually getting like secondhand embarrassment all over again <laughs> well this was like years ago you it was freshman year <laughs> or like sophomore year so <laughs> it's embarrassing story time this gets views <laughs> it does get views um well, basically, it was for, I think, biomed. It, it was the class you also took, I think. Or no, maybe it was just normal... You didn't take biomed. No, I wasn't in biomed. Let me f elaborate. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> it was either biomed or advanced biology. I think it was advanced biology. Could have been biomed. But she had to... The same girl I, I kind of had a crush on. Um, she had to make this, like, poster, I guess and oh yeah maybe this sounds familiar and it was of the different like bodily systems oh no this was just biology this was just biology because i remember i did this too for biology yeah i remember this assignment and i think she had the circulatory and like muscle nervous thingy i don't really remember if that's even right at all also i just saw two of the exact are these the exact same hold on i gotta game theory this real quick excuse me oh no this lady has a darker complexion, but they're wearing, I think, the same stained shirt. <laughs> I just punched one. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Um, but, sorry, that was a whole tangent. But basically, I was trying to get good at drawing at the time, because I had just watched My Hero Academia and was like, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could not, by the way, L little disclaimer for y'all. Um, there's that lady again oh my gosh you... <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just distracted every time they well, update this game it's always broken we're trying to make a broken. podcast this is i don't a... care <laughs> i care anyways no you don't you're blabbering i blabber anyways 
Oh, I fell off my bike. <laughs> um. Okay, okay. She had a poster and she needed help drawing the foot. She's like, I don't know how to draw a feet. And I'm like, I can do it. I remember this. And I tried and it was so bad. So, so bad. And they're making fun of me. I'm like, yeah, I know. I did it bad on purpose. <laughs> and I did not do it bad on purpose. <laughs> and I felt bad because I kind of ruined her. Like, like, everything else was drawn really good. I don't know if she, like, drew just in general in her free time, but... It was a good drawing of, like, a human body, you know? That's way more embarrassing than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, well, I, like, tried to do this foot, and I was, like, confident. And I don't know why. Whenever I'm confident, it always goes terrible. <laughs> like, each and every single time. If, if, you know, the more we upload, if people are, like, returning viewers or watching this, just watch. You'll see it. In our future videos, whatever we're doing, every time I get confident about something, I'm either dead wrong or completely screw it up. So, just uh, be excited for that in the future. But... Wonderful. Yeah, it was a whole thing, and it was just... It was just nasty. It was bad. Hmm. And I felt so bad, but they kept it and laughed about it, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I think a few times before that, she just had a bunch of Play-Doh, and I was like, can I play with the Play-Doh? <laughs> She's like, go for it, and I'm like, yes. Wonderful. I remember... Was a precision rifle? For my project in a... the history class we were talking about, where you have to make your own, like, civilization. Because you had to make everything about it. You had to make your own, like, religion, military, government. Mm -hmm. You had to make everything. And, uh, I didn't make any fancy anything instead for, like, each individual topic. So, for example, like, religion. I would just get on a Google Doc, and I <laughs> wrote, like, pages upon pages of just explaining what it was. And it was the yeah. most bland, just textbook, whatever possible. But it was, it was kind of interesting if... I think my civilization, the religion... The religion was like it had something to do with how there could only be a certain set amount of mass and like matter in the universe so like mass gets wasted on evil people so we might as well just burn them so that their mass can be used to like revitalize everyone else it was like it was a weird weird it was just weird, and then I think I had like a, what's it called? An oligarchy. Like you were a dark kid. <laughs> no, it was. It wasn't like evil or anything. It was like, oh hey, what's up? But it was like. I was in the area. Um. Yeah, it wasn't anything evil or anything. It was like, like I think one example. I'm trying to remember. I think it was like if someone was injured or like like if someone got terribly terribly injured they would make like sacrifices um to like re to like refresh the amount of matter in the universe or whatever so that it would like heal the okay. non-injured people <laughs> you know that was like the religion I think it'd make a good like Percy Jackson, Harry Potter type book, <laughs> you know? Anyway. No, I didn't... Yeah, anyway. I just started writing and didn't stop, and that's what I ended with. And, uh... No, I get it. Yeah, I think my government was like an oligarchy, and I think we lived in like... I don't even remember. I just remember the religion part was kind of funky. It was like, okay... There was, cause there was like no gods or anything in my religion. It was all just like how he had set rules on the universe and stuff. But whatever. Mm. Cause I think there was like other weird rules we. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of weird. I got you. Um. Do you have like a favorite project in a? 
of like all school ever? Um. Gosh, I have to think about that I for do. a second. Go ahead with yours, and I'll see if I remember any of them. My favorite? You already know about it, because you were partly in on it. Um, but it was a video project. Day super Fuerza, Don't whatever. say the name! It's a, like, public um, video! <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Channel. Is your face in it? What do you mean, is my face in it? You saw the video. I don't remember. It's very in it. <laughs> well, anyways, just bleep that out. No, I'm just or kidding. Just mute it. I unlisted it. It doesn't even matter. Um, oh, okay. But, yeah. So, summary for the viewers. We had to make a... Uh, we had to make a... Like a product, I guess. And then make a commercial for it in Spanish. And so, we made super strength gloves and we made this whole video not me and ethan it was actually me and another friend but we got ethan in there for like one one shoot maybe i'll share the video yes. one day i might just blur our other friend's face and stuff uh yeah honestly but if we ever get but, popular oh, okay. remind me he, i was just gonna talk about how cold i was yeah it was super cold that day um and all I had was a thin jacket. <laughs> it was. And it was a really bad idea because it was like getting. It into was winter fun though. Winter. It was getting no, into it, it. It was, but I really wish I just had more I wore because that it really just ruined my experience on it. You agreed to come like fit. I know, but that's because I didn't realize or think about how cold it was. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then we got Burger King afterwards, so it was okay. Yeah, so it was awesome. But anyway, so yeah, uh, maybe I'll share it on the channel someday, but, uh, oh shoot, if I can even find it, maybe I should save that file. Um, you can just put it as, like, unlisted on our channel. Oh, that's true. Uh, anyway, but uh, it has my face in it, so I can't show it, but, uh, basically it's a video... We had to make this commercial for our super strength gloves, and we do a bunch of different scenes. Um, and the first one, it starts off super stereotypical. Uh, I'm struggling to lift this weight. And it's like, oh my god, well I put on the super strength gloves, and now I can lift it super easy. I have this like smug face, it's super cool. Um, the second one, I, uh, I'm getting attacked by a dinosaur, and I'm getting chased, and he's killing me. And then I put on the super strength gloves and I like, I throw him around like a limp sausage and it's awesome. And uh, then there's another one. This is the one Ethan was in. And uh, yeah, we just mug a guy. We mug a guy with the gloves and uh, we beat him up. And he, there's like three of us. We made a dummy. I, I made a dummy. <laughs> I like took a pillow, <laughs> I put clothes around, I put like a jacket and like pants on it and everything and I, I actually held the pants on with a belt, I got it like super tight on there and then I used like clothes pins to secure them and everything and then I stuffed the arms and legs with plastic bags and I had a balloon for a head and the balloon popped like the second we got there but whatever, I had another one and then we- It popped when you ran it over. No, 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 that was a different one. The first one just popped. Um, but then we were like, we could use this. And so we ran over his head by inflating another balloon. <laughs> and we popped it. And, oh, uh, yeah, because we had a whole bag. Because weren't they like smiley faces? Yeah, they were smiley face balloons. And anyway, mm. the gimmick was they were super strength balloons. And you could like take on anyone. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because the teacher was like, don't have any violence or anything to do with drugs or sex or whatever and we were like okay and then we like literally mug a guy in our video we i like beat up a dinosaur uh some guy our friend basically the plot was some guy is trying to steal my phone but i have the gloves on so i like shove him and he just i we get the dummy again and as i shove him we cut it so that the dummy flies across like the little area and it's so 
It, honestly, I could make such a better video now, but it was a, right as background. That was part of what made me not just want to do rat attack, but like really want to do rat attack. It, it made me go from like this could be fun to like wait, this was actually really fun. Um, we would love to do like stupid skit type videos someday. Not as like a main thing, but just as like a fun. Hey, let's do this. Whatever. Um, so like and subscribe if you'd like to see that, guys. But, uh... <laughs> very good, very good. I know, I'm practicing my YouTuber voice. But, um... It's very official. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, that was a fun video. And, uh, yeah, it was very cold that day, though. We were, the, we were trading the super strength gloves between the three of us. <laughs> because it was so cold. And... I kept being like, guys, we have to shoot one more time. We have to shoot. Let's get this one again, just so I could wear the gloves because I was the main protagonist, and I had to wear the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise you, though, it wasn't. I didn't just want to keep shooting just so I could keep wearing the gloves. It was just. I actually wanted better shots. No, it's fine. We actually. I don't care now. That was forever ago. I was cold then, not now. <laughs> I'm good. No, yeah, I know. I just don't want you thinking I was being a bad friend. You don't you don't want them thinking that. <laughs> hey. It's a bonus. <laughs> but uh It's it's a bonus. Okay. Do you have a favorite you can think of? Cuz if not, I have another one. Another one. Oh no, I forgot to even think about it. <laughs> All right. Um, favorite, favorite, favorite. Well, I'll make this other one really quick then. Probably. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that works. It was just another video for Spanish in the same class just later in the year. And it was, uh, you know, those like sports dramas, of course you do, because you, you were there for this one also. <laughs> um, the sports dramas? It, we did a badminton drama, because me and other friend, not Ethan, uh, we got really into badminton. Do you not remember you this? You nickname for him. No, I remember yeah, this is Gonta. That's his name. What are you talking about? Right, is that what we're going to call him? Gonta? Of course. But what is that name actually from, though? Isn't it uh, Danganronpa? If that's how you pronounce it? Danganronpa or something. I know how it's spelled. I don't know how to say it. It's Danganronpa or something? I, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Dag and the Rompa. It's a game that Gonta likes, and one of the characters is named Gonta, so yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> that's why we call him Ganta. Anyway, we, <laughs> yeah, we did a badminton drama because we got super into it because we played it in our PE class, but then we just wanted to play it all the time. So we'd play it like after school. We bought really expensive badminton rackets. Very cool. Um, we actually got pretty dang good, not going to lie. Um. Ethan even started they weren't bad. to get, like, a little good, because he would join us occasionally. But, uh... I... Okay, little sidebar. Like, I, maybe I shouldn't share this, because it sounds terrible. But I played okay, badminton with him during our decide. gym class, because we just had that free time afterwards. And, like, mm -hmm. I honestly feel like I was, like, ten more swings away from a heart attack. Because we were... See, if it was just me and him, I was going to be like, okay, can we stop? We were playing against these two girls that he was friends with. He was friends with one of them, oh. and the other one he just knew, or she knew. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I didn't want to stop because I didn't want to, like, be the buzzkill, you know? Right. But I was literally sitting there like, I'm about to die. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> like, my heart was really going like, bam, 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 I'm like, oh my gosh. So... Just, just something fun that I'm terribly out of shape, and that's kind of why I didn't play as much because I didn't have nearly as much stamina as they did. And I still don't. <laughs> so. Poor Ethan. I know. But yeah. Oh, well, I don't. There wasn't really anything funny in that video, though. It's more just kind of a uh, serious, or it wasn't serious, but it had less opportunity to be funny because it was a sports drama. Um, but we did add some funny bits in there, like, I, I broke one of my rackets, it was a really cheap one, it wasn't my expensive one, um, 
And so we did this whole scene where I like fall over and like cry over its badminton rackety body. Uh, and then we did these like cool superhero poses as the camera revolves around us. But obviously we don't have the equipment for that, so it was just us like sort of walking in a circle while pointing the camera at a person. It was kind of, mm -hmm. kind of that kind of shot, but uh, yeah, that was a fun video too. It, it was less fun because yeah, it was just less fun, but it was still cool. Well, there you go. Do you have a project yet? No, I keep forgetting to think about it. I'm, I'm like so absorbed. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. And then you ask me, and I'm like, oh no. Um, I'll continue then. Yeah, Ethan was there for that one too, though. He was our camera guy. I was um, the camera guy. We had these cool shots that were kind of dangerous on Ethan's part, but I told him uh, because it was like my project both times and we kind of brought ethan along to help shoot um i was just there for the ride i told him he we needed some over the shoulder like hitting the birdie shots you know and so i told him to get as close behind me as he was comfortable getting as i hit the birdie and try and get a really good over the shoulder hitting shot <laughs> and i think uh yeah, it was a little dangerous honestly yeah. It was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, obviously we did the same thing for Gonta. That was, uh, it was still fun to shoot. Um, it was editing, that was... <laughs> whatever. Yeah, what did you edit on? Because I know it wasn't what we have now. Uh, Wii video. Wii video. And then the first one we did on iMovie. The first one? It was... Okay, first of all, the... The other one, the Super Strength Gloves one, our whole class loved it, by the way. they, they Everyone thought it was the funniest one. Um, the teacher loved it. I had a random freshman at lunchtime. Ethan might remember this. I don't know, but it was a random freshman. Yeah, I do. Freshman. I was like, dang, it must have been a good video. Uh, he came up and he was like, yo, I loved your span. I loved your video, dude. And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I love the dinosaur part, and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know one thing I actually want to talk about? Mm. That would be our vacation that we went on a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Yeah, okay. One, one thing that happened on vacation, because Ethan came with me, it was me and my parents, and they were like, you want to bring Ethan? And I was like, sure, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of, I wasn't, in, I, okay, you... Don't take this the wrong way, but I wasn't enthused about the idea whatsoever. Too late. Because it's like, okay, I just don't like involving friends in things, you know? Though my opinion has changed now because it was actually a lot of fun bringing you along. Wow, he doesn't like involving friends in things. No, <laughs> just no, no, let okay. that soak in for a second, everybody. No, 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 okay, let me, let me rephrase. Okay. I don't like involving friends with family. Okay. I forgot to say family. I just said things. That's okay. I meant to say family. I don't like combining them, really. Trust uh, me, I'm the exact so I, same way. But, uh... You know, it was actually a lot of fun bringing you along, though. I would be really, really bored if I didn't. Mm -hmm. Um, so... I would you would have done the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I would have vibed. We just I hung out. But, uh... Anyway, so while we were on this vacation, it was kind of, I'm not going to say where it was, though I guess it doesn't matter if I did, but I'm not going to, um, it was, it was kind of like a beach town area, and anyway, we passed okay. these random, like, girls, and they said, and we, we, like, you know, oh, not really eavesdropping, yeah. Not really eavesdropping, but you just hear what people say as they pass you. So we were going the opposite way. We passed them on the little, like, walkway, whatever. And we hear them say something along the lines of, Oh my god, did you hear what Ethan, Gage, and 
it's one other person's name, but it's a person's name we know, so it made it weirder. <laughs> yeah, it was like Gage and I both looked at each other in the like, you heard what I heard, right? <laughs> yeah, because it was just so weird. Just some random chicks were like, you think Gage and blah blah blah. Oh my god, it's like, how often do you hear like. You and your best friend's name and another friend's name all in the same sentence from a random stranger. Uh, it, was just, it was just weird. It was just weird. They're probably Rat Attack fans, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think so. The channel wasn't the even channel started then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, uh, I didn't think about it until I thought about it. And then I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Um. But yeah, vacation was a lot of fun. We went to a, uh, we played mini golf. I low key wanted to play a little more mini golf, but also I, I didn't. I liked <laughs> mini golf, but for reasons I will not get into, I was not head over heels about that session. <laughs> and, and I'm sure my... you know why, but I don't know how in detail we want to be on that. But, but we walked the. Uh, the walk like a thousand times and there was this really cool like thing out in the water you could walk out to we walked it walked out to it like every night except for you one night you can say what that was what was like this it, it was just this thing that extended out into the water it had a lighthouse at the end and yeah i thought you were leaving out the lighthouse part it's like that is not gonna narrow anything down <laughs> anyway yeah we'd walk out on this thing every night uh, it was fun. There was some like random guy out on the lighthouse who was like playing music on his guitar, and then some random guys that was... pulled up on their like electric scooters and started blaring like funky music. That was honestly kind of annoying because yeah. we went there and this guy's like, it was like a ukulele. It was very kind of lo-fi, you know. And he was just playing mm -hmm. it and just chilling out. You can like tell he was like learning it and trying to get better. It was like such a nice tame moment. And it's like just a just a dude, you know? Like if I had to pick a a way to like call him, it would just be like a Like there's no extreme word for it, right? It's just a chill, nice dude. And then these two like like frat boys come up on like these electric like scooter thingies. And they're just blaring the most annoying, like, rap music, you know, and I, I don't mind rap, but when it hits a certain decibel level and it's, like, the middle of the night, it's too loud. It's too much, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, I was enjoying that moment so much, and then, honestly, those guys ruined it. <laughs> it was really annoying. I even said, yeah. like, as I was walking, because Gage and I kind of split up a little. Sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. also. Um, but we kind of split up a little, and I just sat there and listened for a while while Gage went to this other side. And as I was walking back to find Gage, I said to the guys, like, I like your music a lot more, <laughs> you know, just, like, be friendly. And they're like, yeah, thank you, thank you, because it was, it just made me so frustrated, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say, while you were doing that, those guys rolled over to my side, right? To where I was chilling mm -hmm. out. And first thing they say is, put your hands up. And so I, I like, <laughs> the most half-hearted, like, just kind of barely put him up, like, uh. <laughs> What if it was, like, an actual cop? Well. And you just, like, gave him the most sarcastic response to that? <laughs> like, ah, I can't be bothered. Like, eh, here you go. <laughs> um... But yeah, they laughed at that, and then they just kind of stood there and talked, and honestly, okay, while I can see what you're saying, it was a very tame and relaxing moment, just listening to that guy play his, uh, you know, his, his lo-fi music on his ukulele or whatever it was. Um, it also, while I don't really like the kind of music they were playing as much, uh, if you were just like playing tunes you liked and going down to the lighthouse on your scooter with your buddy, that could that's just 
wholesome in its own way, you know? No, yeah, definitely. Definitely wholesome. I agree 100%. But I think a few factors need to be taken in is it's nighttime and they're like, it was loud. Like, there's a difference between playing your music out loud and actually just blaring it, like, somehow past what full volume can go. It was mm-hmm. really loud. And, it, you know, I don't want to sound, like, really angry or anything about it, because I'm not. This is the first time I've thought about it, like, since that night. But, uh... It was very... Very self-contained and nice, I guess. And then that was kind of odd. And I could have sworn I heard him, like, talk about really weird conversation topics, like drugs and stuff, so... I don't know. Maybe I misheard that part, but... It's not my crowd or sound, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, but you know, it is nice. It's always cool when people can have those neato little moments. What else happened on that trip? Oh, we were gonna go hike a mountain, but there was a sign that was like, "Please don't hike up me, because you'll disturb the the like natural like dirt." sediment thing or whatever yeah like something about there's like plants that were having a hard time growing there and that by hiking up it you'll like kill like them, them I guess. or you'll like ruin the soil or i don't know but yeah so we were like dude let's climb up there that looks awesome and then we didn't but oh well even though we watched like six guys like jump down from there it was, it was sad also rip ethan yeah i fell like two feet and my car exploded so oof oh well then uh what were some other cool moments we played mini golf uh sitting at the beach sucked i I think me and ethan both agree beaches just suck sorry it was not Go, I, going to a beach town, my least favorite place was the beach. It's the beach, yeah. <laughs> we well, like, loved exploring the town. Yeah, there was, I guess, like, pretty much my whole wardrobe is just all the clothes I've got there now. Like, I don't really wear anything else. At one store. Yeah, mm-hmm. what is it called? I guess I can't really say what it's called because I doubt it's. Uh, well, it's the same thing that's on your shirts, it says it on all of them. Oh yeah, I think I remember the name, but I won't bother. Um, really good store though. A lot of really cute designs that I liked a lot. And I really just only wear like those shirts anymore. Um, Cause I got, I think I spent like, it was a lot of money. Uh, 200. I think so, shirts. around 200, 300 by the time that trip was over. So. There's a lot, but it was worth it, because I like everything I got. And I even got this really cool bag. I love the bag I got. Ooh. He takes the bag everywhere. Every time I see him anywhere, he's got the bag. I, I so The only time I don't bring it with me is when I'm going to work. I want to use mine more, but I don't go places enough. You just gotta, gotta manage it, you know? You just gotta bring it anyways. Make it part of your brand. I guess. I kind of want to make it my thing. I guess it kind of is now. I mean, everything becomes a thing. I don't know. This is a really (laughs) nice bag. And it's honestly, like, it's goofy how, like, girls, it's, like, so normal for them to have, like, purses that are, like, gigantic. But God forbid a guy has a bag because they're so convenient. Because this isn't, like, a backpack. This is, like, a a satchel bag. Like, uh, if you guys ever played Red Dead or something like that type of satchel bag you know it just mm-hmm. it just kind of hangs around you um and it's so convenient i can put so much stuff in there i can put my camera in there my wallet my phone my airpods my like car keys my pockets have never been so like relieved to not carry everything <laughs> i guess that sounds nice it's so nice While we were there, we were, we rented out a little camper and me and Ethan had to share this little room with, uh, it had four, it had two bunk beds in it 
and Ethan had one of the bottom bunks and then I had the top bunk on the opposite side and Ethan made yeah. a little he, he took his blanket and he made a like his own cave like he tucked it under the bed above him and so he just had this little like what it was are, pretty much just a curtain is what you'd say what are those it was a like that covered Japanese like capsule hotels or whatever where you just sleep in the pod it was <laughs> It was like about all the space he had in that little thing. Yeah, but it's honestly really nice. Yeah, that sounds nice. The only thing that sucked is that was the one blanket I brought, so I didn't really have anything to cover myself with. But it was really hot and muggy all the time, so it didn't really make a difference. Well, there you go. I slept on the top bunk. Um, because I do that normally. Yeah. I have a bed on the ceiling. It's pretty cool. Just kidding. It's kind of annoying to change your sheets. <laughs> it sounds annoying <laughs> just to, like, wake up and, like, climb your way out of. I kind of like it, though. I guess. It, it sounds like it now, has its charms. It does. And I remember the first night I was like scared I'd roll out of bed and then wasn't ever scared again because I don't think I move when I sleep. <laughs> I think I think I used to like roll around a lot in my sleep, but now if I fall asleep, I ain't budging. I'm probably just dead after that. See, okay, I know I move around a lot in my sleep because I'll like, if I'm like sleeping by myself, it doesn't matter, but sometimes when my dog sleeps in the room with me, um... I'll, like, wake up a bunch of times throughout the night of me, like, having, like, rolled into or, like, onto her. And she just, like, kind of looks at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I always feel so bad. Poor dog. I know. But she gets her little cubby hole in. Like, it's honestly fair because the amount of times I've had to, like, accommodate her sleeping in the most uncomfortable positions, she's had to accommodate me, so... It's a 50-50 relationship, for sure. Well, there you go. You're always making each other uncomfortable. Exactly. It's a Just what you want out of a relationship. Right? I, uh... So... Yeah, I'm, like, pretty sure I don't ever move around anymore, because whatever sleep I... Whatever side I fall asleep on, I always wake up on that side, and, like unmoved from like even the position <laughs> like I'm surprised oh, I don't yeah. get cramped because I, I like barely move hmm well, oh because I also do the thing where I uh, tuck the blanket in between my uh, like legs while I'm sleeping and it's never oh. untucked when I wake up it's always still there I'm s still on the same side and obviously yeah so I know I like, that's, don't move. That's another thing I get. My blankets are completely screwed up every morning. Because I, I sleep with three mm. blankets that I have, like, draped on top of each other. Take as long as you like. So, they get shuffled around a lot. Like, it's... Like, I've woken up with, like, them, like, completely sideways and just been so confused as to how. <laughs> it, it's so weird. I remember when I went over to your house... Um, it was the day, shoot, what were we doing that day? We were making the Rat Attack account, the Google account, that we didn't even end up using anyway because... Because we got locked out of it for an activity. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh my god, that was... The, the, well, it's the day it's... we're uploading our first videos and the account's locked and it's like, okay. Well, okay, some context for that so we don't seem completely lazy. Um, we basically made the Google account and then I was like, okay, don't make the YouTube account yet because I saw in a, a Matt Pat short, <laughs> um, he was like, yeah, when you're making a new YouTube channel, start with like five or like, a f you know, four to like five videos, like uploaded immediately because it helps with the algorithm. So I saw that and I'm like, okay, that's easy because, you know, we can make the videos whenever we want and we don't have to make the channel. So that's what we did when I saw that, but just had the Google account ready to go, so that way we saved ourselves that down the line. And then I had to remake the Google account because we got locked out. 
for an activity. Uh -huh. so. Which took like five seconds. It's kind of weird we devoted a whole day just to actually going to your house and making the account. Yeah, but, I'm trying. Did we do but, anything else that day? Nope. I, I literally. You know what? It was such a weird day. Because the original point I was going to make is how you wanted to show off to me while we were there <laughs> your sleeping setup. And I thought it looked so messy and. It's very messy. Not comfortable. comfortable. It doesn't it's look. It's so comfortable. It looks slightly comfortable, but too too many blankets, like. No, because they add weight, so it feels good. I feel you, but that makes it hot. No, that's what the fans for. Okay, you want to know Ethan's sleeping setup? <laughs> Let me explain it. He gets as many blankets as he can find. I think he has like fifty of them probably, and he just buries it's himself under them, three. and then. It's three. He turns this huge box fan on right next to him. It's right next to his face. And he puts it on max and just sleeps like... <laughs> like a baby. Like, that sounds comfortable. I don't know how you don't get cramped with a fan blowing on you all night. But... No. Anyway. Because I got, like... I have two really long pillows that are in an L shape. Um, so one's like where the fan is, because if you imagine like, you know, your normal rectangle on a bed, right? Your bed's a uh, rectangle, yes. your mattress, whatever. Um, uh -huh. you basically have it where I have a really long pillow, like, I don't think it is one of these, but I know like pregnant women, sometimes they get like long pillows because it kind of helps them just rest on it, you know, I think. It's no one relatable. I, I, I've just seen it because people get pregnant, I guess. Um, it's weird. I know. I don't really know what they're doing there. But anyways, so those long pillows. I don't know if it's for that specifically, but it's what I got. It's these one. I only had one long pillow originally, but then I put it in the dryer and all the foam, like the stuffing inside got stuffed to one side. <laughs> So it's just this lump and mess that doesn't work. So uh, my grandma bought me a new one because I was about to buy a new one like a day later, but she beat me to it, I guess. Um, and so now I just have two of those that are on my bed, but I also have my old like two just normal pillows. So I sleep on the long one, right? And I put the other, the other longer one like on the side that the fan's blowing from. And I stack the pillows on top of it. <laughs> Sorry, this is a whole monologue. But basically, I get it to a perfect spot where it's like, the fan is blowing on me and it's like, cold enough to offset the heat from the blankets. So I'm at that perfect temperature where I can just instantly fall asleep and be good. And then also be wrapped up in like, the most comfortable burrito you've ever seen. Because what I have is one normal blanket and then two broken heating blankets. <laughs> so it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Apparently not pretty supposed good. to sit on heating blankets. That breaks them. I thought I found the world's best butt warmer, but I just ended up breaking an expensive blanket. So whatever, I guess. I'm surprised you're not built tougher than that, though. You'd think, but I guess the wires are. I mean, it's a blanket, so it can only be so tough, you know? Mm hmm But, yeah, Ethan has a whole science to his sleeping. I've seen it. I've seen it in person. And, you know, there was one time... <laughs> there was one time I went over to his house for a sleepover. It was the only time I ever slept over at his house. And, uh... It was just a me and him sleepover, by the way. No one else. It was just us. And he has his whole sleeping thing going on, and I'm just sleeping on the floor. And I remember he yeah. woke up the next morning, and I was playing Pirates and Traitors on my phone. <laughs> I, dude, I looked for so long, because that game looks, it still looks fun. I tried so hard to find it on, like, the App Store for, like, hours one day, and I just could not for the life of me. It's, uh... It's pretty similar to a game on Xbox. It's called like 
Sid Meier's Pirates or something, I think. Okay. But... I don't... I, don't, I, I could look that up, I guess. Nah. Can, I should I just have OBS just, like, watch me <laughs> look up the game? <laughs> sure. But, um... Okay, uh... It's like... Start. What's it called? Sid Meier's Pirates. It's like... Sid Meier's Pirates. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah... So yeah, I was just playing that. I remember Ethan made such a like weird deal out of it. He wanted to watch me play Pirates and Traders. <laughs> and because it looks so cool. I, I loved that like, game. Pirates, merchants, there's so many options. There was. Is I it Traders or Pirates, you said? Sid Meier's Pirates. Pretty sure. But uh... How do you spell Sid Meier's? S-I-D space... M something. <laughs> okay. But it's like an Xbox game, and I'm not talking an Xbox 360 game. I'm talking an Xbox game. <laughs> like the first Xbox. Like the first Xbox. Gotcha. But um, I think that's what it's roughly based off of. There's lots of games you like it. Anything. You just kind of gotta search. But yeah, that was a fun game. I it was terrible at it though. I would always die oh. or like something. But I love just going around sinking random ships and doing random quests I found in taverns and then dying and restarting. <laughs> uh, but I get I'd, it. I get it. I just try and get the strongest ship I could so I could sink anyone. I Pirate games are criminally like underrated and kind of underdone. I know. Like what? the only two I've seen that kind of do it right, are, like Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Sea of Thieves. Mhm. Mm we need more pirate games, please. Seriously, they're just they're, they're it's such a cool like it's such a video game concept, you know? Like I don't know how they made it back then, but it just is, you know, like, oh, go plunder, or trade, or, like, different options. There's just so many cool things you can do. Mm-hmm. We should, uh, next time we do a, a rat cast, if that's what we're gonna call these. Do Sea of um, Thieves. Yeah, I vote Sea of Thieves, and we just, like, do some voyages to have on in the background. Alright, guys, vote what game you want to see in the background of Ratcast. After Sea yeah, of honestly, Thieves. Yeah, honestly... 